cooking with whatever from Angie's Kitchen. Today on Smitha's request is going to be tiramisu. Um, have I prepared tiramisu before? No. Am I a big fan of tiramisu? So so, not really. I've tried it a couple of times, it was okay for me. So it indeed is a challenge. So let's see how I'm going to embrace the challenge. One thing I want to say is I do really welcome challenges because one, it helps me to venture out, expand the boundaries and give me more confidence. So let's see how this challenge is uh, going to be embraced by me. Let's start the process. For easy understanding, I'm going to give like step by step process. I'm going to say it's going to be a nine step process, but some steps are super, super easy. Um, just one step was very tedious for me. Step number one is making strong espresso. 1.5 cups is what you need. If you do not have an espresso maker, make super strong coffee. The reason why I'm adding a pinch of salt is to bring out the flavor from the espresso. I learned it, of course, from YouTube. <laughs> and this is actually my second batch of making the espresso. I already made the first batch and one more batch to go. How I wish I had a bigger espresso maker. But that's fine. No worries. No complaints. Be positive. That's the attitude that I want to have. So I really actually love the espresso fountain bubbling up. I, I don't know. I just get a kick out of it. I like it. <laughs> Time to time I do, it took approximately like five minutes. So time to time I do have to check up, has it stopped uh, the, the bubbling or has it stopped or not? But because I do not make it every day, I really do not know. So once in a while, so just check. This is step number two. So you need six eggs, room temperature. Separate the yolks from the white. You know what? I just had only six eggs in the house. So I was like very nervous. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Hopefully I don't mess it up because everything is ready. If I just mess up with one egg, then I have to wait till the egg is actually like, you know, got from the store. I was like super nervous. If I had more, I would not have freaked out. But only with six eggs, I was very nervous. But good thing everything worked out well. To this, I'm going to add three fourth cup of sugar. Now this is the tedious step. It just is all part of <laughs> step number two, but this is called water bath using a double boiler. Never done this before. This is what actually was holding me. I was very nervous to start doing this, but actually, you know what? This is also okay. It's a nice learning experience. Chris actually encouraged me. He said, even if you mess up, don't worry, we can do it again. That actually kind of motivated me to start and do this. So in a saucepan, maybe just a little bit water. Do not boil the water, just simmer the water. And in that heat, the steam from beneath, you have to melt the sugar and slow cook the egg. If you keep the uh, temperature in high, then what happens is the eggs will become curdled. So that you do not want to happen. So just like simmering water with the steam coming up, you're going to cook the egg. And for 10 minutes, you see, there's a switch off hands. Thanks to Chris, he actually, actually pushed in. It was painful for me. My hands are messed up. I, it was really hard for me to do. So he did everything. And after 10 minutes, you see the color changing. Uh, it was really like, wow, you know, I was so thrilled to make this. It was like, everything was like, wow, look, it's changing. Okay, wow, you know, I was nervous at the same time excited. It was kind of a mixed feeling for me. After 10 minutes, it will get thickened, but don't worry about it. After 10 minutes, I'm telling you, it will get thickened, but don't worry about it. You have to allow it to cool completely. So this is me doing the final test. Yep, it's done. Now you need rum for this. Don't worry, not the whole bottle, just six tablespoons and three tablespoons will be divided between the espresso and you'll see other, other things later. So three tablespoons you're mixing in with the espresso. So both the espresso has to, be, has to be cool and also the egg mix has to be cool. So step number one is done. Step number two is also done. Step number three, you need the mascarpone cheese. I have to learn how to pronounce it. Mascarpone cheese, pone. <laughs> and this again, you will be adding three tablespoons of rum to this cheese. You have to uh, add the cheese and the rum and then use the mixer and mix it. Word of caution, do not over mix it so that it should not become grainy. So 
I'm just use my judgment, you know. So when, until it is all well combined is how I did. The speed was, I believe I just did it in uh, speed number one. It was not in heavy speed. Speed number one is a slow speed. So yeah, I used speed number one and I mixed it and do not over mix it. Step number four is a cool step. All you have to do is just beat it. Two cups of heavy cream and simple, easy. Just beat it. I've heard of snow peaks, but this is my first time again preparing this and I was excited to see a stiff peak. And that was like really, you know, like I watched it on TV, but then to do it for yourself, by yourself, that was like um, cool. Step number five. Yes, step number five. You have to mix the mascarpone mix as well as the egg mix. Now, you will see me transferring the egg mix into the mascarpone, but do not do like that. Do it otherwise so that the sugar might be seem will seem hard but using the mixer will actually soften it. That is the power of the electric mixer. So the mascarpone into the sugar, use the mixer and just beat it. I can't hold a tune. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Just beat it. That's all I know. Then probably this is uh, step number seven. Yes, I think. Gently folding of the, um, uh, the stiff peaks into the other mix the uh, well combined uh, you know mix so this is the last mixing done so just use your judgment and gently fold do not go uh, you know in a hurry do not do it please uh, you'll know when to stop you'll know when it is all combined so you'll know when to stop and then I'm dividing that into equal portions so that it will be easy uh, to spread another funny thing I wanted to share is this is called the lady's finger in India, okra is called lady's finger. Just thought of sharing that. It's after this, you have to dip the lady's finger into the espresso mix and layer it. You do should, uh, another thing is do not soak it. Just dip it and then layer it and you're spreading the first half of the um, cheese spread. Recently, I watched a Tamil movie in that a very famous um, dialogue i mean dialogue or a phrase very catchy it became very popular it said vanda sutta setta repeat vanda sutta setta repeat like that it's like this you know dip i mean dip spread layer dip spread layer so repeat the same process you know when i was doing that actually i was saying the same dialogue and i was doing vanda setta setta repeat like that i was dip uh, layer spread, dip layer spread. I can't even say it right now, but that is what actually made me think of um, when I was doing this process. The next process will be um, dusting of the cocoa powder on the top. Same thing. I've never done this. I'm not a baker. I'm not like, you know, I'm, this is all like new things for me. So again, I enjoy doing this. And this is my tea strainer. Of course, you did not get any tea flavor. The next process step is you have to refrigerate it anywhere from four hours to overnight. So after it was completely chilled, here we are doing the cutting process. Trust me, I'm not a big fan of tiramisu, but this was so good. And literally I had to exercise self-control uh, from not pigging out <laughs> because due to I didn't want to damage my health, but it was really, really good. And I had the joy of sharing it with some friends and their feedback was also that they enjoyed. That made me super, super happy and I was so excited. Again, friends, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Take care. Please do give it a try. Don't be nervous. Piece of cake. The only step, the tedious one was the double boiler, but you can nail it too. Thank you guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.